How many times have you pulled up at the petrol station and you might be talking on the phone and you've got to get out and you've got to say, look, sorry, I'm about to fill up the car with petrol. And I can't talk to you anymore because there's all these signs and warnings and hazard signs saying, do not sm uh, smoke mm. and do not talk yep. on your mobile oh, phone. I, I turn the phone off before I even drive into the oh, station. Oh, you, you would, wouldn't no, you? Mr. No, I don't. Look, the, the truth is... Uh, I've done enough of these programs over a long period of time. Anyone working in the media is aware that the myth of the mobile phone blowing up a uh, petrol pump uh, has gone long ago. But at the same time, uh, you see, I, I think there's a tendency to think, well, I, I better get off the phone just in case someone will abuse me. But it is an unnecessary restriction, is it not? But even if you are talking, you'll get a voice coming over the loudspeaker saying, uh, excuse me, with a man on pump number seven, please turn his mobile phone off. So there's this ridiculous myth. Now, earlier today, we interviewed the um, English author of a new book that sort of explodes a lot of these myths on these rules and regulations in our lives. And, and apart from the myth about um, mobile phones causing explosions at petrol bowsers, she also exploded the myth about taking tweezers on board an aeroplane. Um, and I mean, we all know about the myth now of using your mobile phone on a plane. It mm. doesn't disrupt the radar. The plane's not going to crash if you leave your mobile mobile phone on. And I know enough people who secretly leave their mobile phones on when they're travelling on planes because it's quicker to get to their messages. And um, moving right along, she also said that some of those liquids that we're banned from taking on international flights are ridiculous. It can actually take, you need to sit there for four or five days to actually take all of the key chemical components of those liquids to put them together to make even the smallest of reactions. Yeah, well, look, this is so, where, look, I agree with you about some of the rules. I think in relation to mobile phones at the servo, you're probably better off not talking on your phone while you're pumping the gas. That's right. Well, this is your notion that if you're talking on the phone, you're pumping well, gas, and someone walks, drives by, and says, "Hello," you're going to go, "Oh, good day," and you're going to drop. Who yeah, would do it, that? It is possible. <laughs> it's the it most is ridiculous possible. defense. Have you seen a film called Zoolander? That's my my that's favorite a, movie of all it's time. A terrific movie. Now, that's number one. Number two, I, I, I do think in in relation to uh, the uh, the question of tweezers and. And nail scissors. And sharp and objects. I, I, I was in America with uh, with someone who was actually a very prominent politician. We were on a trip and he was he was beside himself with anger because they couldn't find a pair of tweezers in his, uh, his... And they were pulling his luggage apart. They finally found it and it had sort of got its way down into some tiny bit. You know what that told me? It told me that they were very diligent and I felt safer when I got on the plane. So I just in think... relation to that, I'm not too worried. Well, you're one of the 90 percenters who just loves authority, loves being told what to do. I'm off into the city to prove my theory that if I put on a pair of overalls and a bright fluorescent shirt, carry a stop sign with me, I can bring traffic to a halt and no one will ask me any questions. Well, well, see you later. You know what? I reckon if you dressed up as a policeman in a policeman's uniform, people might actually uh, believe that you're a policeman. Yeah, but you can get in trouble That's for that. a ridiculous analogy. All right, anyway, go off and try ya. it. And then I'll uh, come and bail you out when you get arrested for stopping traffic in the yeah. city. All right, that'd be great. See ya. Bye. Unbelievable.